Man, it sure feels like we're in the golden era of ARPGs. We have so much content dropping in the next 60 days. And to be honest with you, leading up till the end of 2024, I wanted to do a quick video on everything that's coming down the pipe in 2024 in the ARPG landscape. And we'll start off with Grim Dawn, a game that I just started playing for the very first time. I've never played Grim Dawn. It's a game that's been, I've been told to play numerous times. And I finally started my first playthrough a couple of days ago. Well, Grim Dawn on June 19th has a major content update 1.2.1.0. Oh, and I'm going to spare you all the details, but this is it. Like this is pages and pages and pages of a content update. And by the way, this is Grim Dawn's second longest change long ever short of the epic 1.1.9.2. It's got a ton, a ton of new content and update. And I have to say, I couldn't have picked a better time to play Grim Dawn. So I'm very excited about this major content update dropping in Grim Dawn on June 19th. And regarding Grim Dawn, a future outlook sometime in 2024, we don't know when, but Grim Dawn is going to have its third expansion, Fangs of Asker Karn. And again, we don't have a date but it's going to be sometime in 2024. And again, another reason why I chose to do my first playthrough on Grim Dawn. This way I'll be nice and primed and ready for Grim Dawn third expansion sometime later in 2024. Now, June 21st, we have a couple of big things happening. Firstly, we have the next campfire chat for Diablo 4. And this will be details about the Season 5 PTR, which we have confirmation, again, like the Season 4 PTR, will be only for PC Battle.net users. So we have a campfire chat on June 21st, but probably even bigger, if not the biggest of everything I'm going to highlight in today's video, is the... Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC release, which is on console and PC. This is probably going to dominate the airwaves, so to speak. So June 21st, a couple of days away, the DLC for Elden Ring drops. And there is a lot of players salivating at this DLC. Apparently, there's going to be like over 40 bosses, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I have personally not played Elden Ring. And I'm embarrassed to say that, but I will be in the future. So June 21st, Elden Ring DLC, a ton of people are going to be all over this. We also have a new season for Torch Light Infinite, which drops on July 4th. On July 9th, something I'm really looking forward to. Last Epoch has its new cycle, 1.1 Harbingers of Ruin. And it'll drop on July 9th. I can't wait for it. I personally am looking forward to that one. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. I suspect this is going to have a lot of players returning back to Last Epoch. And then we go back to Diablo 4. And there is going to be July 18th, Diablo 4's new class reveal stream, The Spiritborn. This class has never been in any of the Diablo games or franchise. It's literally a new class, never seen before. Well, on July 18th, there's going to be a class reveal stream. And then we head over to Path of Exile, which will have a new league sometime in the end of July. And later on in the year, we go back to Diablo 4. We have... It's first, first uh, expansion, and that is the Vessel of Hatred coming October 8th with a ton of new content, new area, new class, mercenaries, new raid, 
on and on and on. There's a lot of stuff dropping on October 8th in the Vessel of Hatred expansion for Diablo 4, which is going to be big. And then top in the charts is going to be Path of Exile 2, which we suspect everything that I've heard and read, potential PoE 2 drop for the early access is going to be sometime in November. That is what I've found out and, and through my investigating is that we potentially could have PoE 2's early access sometime in November, probably later November. Whew, that was a mouthful. That is action-packed for an a for the ARPG landscape, sorry. What an unbelievable era that we live in. And as someone who loves ARPGs, it's so exciting to have all this content right at your fingertips, giving us so many options and choices on what we want to play. I have to say, <laughs> June and July is kind of all packed in and a lot of people are going to have to make decisions which road they're going to go down as far as which game to play but that is a good problem to have anyway i just wanted to do a quick video on how i have to say it feels like the arpg genre is really in a golden era right now and i've only mentioned the ones that are on my radar. Uh, there are many more games in this genre that are dropping content left, right, and center. I've only mentioned the ones that interest me, but what a time to be a gamer and in the ARPG landscape. Let me know. I would love to hear what you guys are excited for. What new release, DLC, expansion, content update, reveals, expansions what are you looking forward to the most i think i know what the answer is going to be but i want to hear it get in the comment section and let me know what you're excited to play next and what you're excited on what game is adding new content or expansions to i would love to hear your feedback and a lot of you watch my content but yet don't subscribe if you could hit the subscribe like or comment I would really appreciate it. Help my channel grow immensely. And we are growing. Thank you very much. But we want to do bigger and better things. So for those of you that have watched my content but don't subscribe, if you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And also, come talk to me about what you're looking forward to playing next or what game is getting an update that you're looking forward to. Come head over to Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. I live stream every evening on Twitch, Sammy Caps is the channel name, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7.30, every evening on Twitch. Come and check me out. Love to talk to you. Love to have a debate, a chat, whatever you want to do. I'm there. We'd love to have you. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.